Hello AI in Law class. Since we are moving to an online format, I thought I'd put up a brief tutorial video about how to present in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So I've already launched Blackboard Collaborate Ultra and I've already entered the classroom. So this is what you'll see when you enter the classroom. So in order to share and present a file, you're going to go over here in the right corner and open the collaborate panel and then you are going to click on this little box with the arrow that says share content and then you are going to go under share files and then you can see there is a box here where you can add files so I have pulled up the directory where I have my files for this class and so let me just grab the first class file as an example and just drag and drop it in there and you'll see what it does is it uh, begins to convert your PowerPoint into image files and this takes a little while you'll see the thing spin sometimes for a few minutes depending on how long and dense your presentation is So now it's converted the presentation and it's uploaded. And then to launch your presentation, you'll hit the Share Now button. And then you select a slide to begin sharing. And you can see that that slide shows up on the screen. And that slide then, if you are the presenter, is going to be showing up on everyone's screen. To enable your audio so that other people in the class can hear you talking about the slide, you can enable your microphone, or you need to enable your microphone. Uh, to enable video, you click this button, and you're then able to share the video, which will show up in a smaller window. So that's really all there is to it. You click on the slide that you want to share and it will run through your slides. The one quirk to this system that you need to note is that since it's converting your slides into image files, it is not capturing your slide builds. So if you look at this slide, when we did this live in class, I had um, the, these principles you know, pop up and click as a build as I was talking about it. Because it's converting it to an image file, it unfortunately converts the whole thing all at once. So what I would suggest to you then is that when you're creating your presentations that are going to be shared in this way, make a separate slide for each part of your build. So I would do for this one, one slide without any of these boxes, then another slide with one box, then another slide with another box, and then another slide with all three boxes, and then I would have three separate slides to display my build. Other than that, it's actually a really pretty easy and effective system, and I know it adds an additional sort of quirk and maybe an additional layer of stress, but I think it's going to work okay for the purpose we have to do. One other piece about that, uh, this I want to mention is that since we're presenting in groups and the way the groups have been doing so far, which I think has worked pretty well, is that um, groups seem to be giving a piece of the presentation to an individual person. Um, so what I would suggest then is break the whole presentation up into you know, multiple parts so that when it's someone's turn to present, they, they load their own part. Um, because otherwise I'm not sure that um, it's really going to work the way that it's supposed to work. When you're done uh, with your presentation or your part of the presentation, you go up here to this button that says stop sharing, press stop sharing, and then the class goes back to its regular format. So I think this is helpful and I uh, hope this is helpful and if you have any questions, uh, send, send me an email and uh, we can go over it. Thanks.